Right, we're here with another episode. Here we go with uh, the remake of Conan. Take it away, Richard. Tell us a little bit about your experience with the remake of Conan. Well, I'll tell you the, my original experiences with the original Conan. Right? Okay. Yeah. Crap film. <laughs> Shocking film. Filmed on a budget. I think they probably filmed it in Mexico or Spain. I don't know where. I think it, it was I Spain. Don't, yeah. Was it Spain? Yeah. Right. So it's like spaghetti western, but it wasn't spaghetti western. It was it like. Wasn't really, was it? Well, no, it's the same thing. Though. That's what they give the spaghetti westerns. Are they from Italy? Because that's where it, that's yeah. the spaghetti from. Yeah. Well, fair enough. All right. Scratch that. So the original Conan's a, a terrible film anyway. Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it, he can't act for shit. Uh, and it's just him beating the fuck out of a load of people with a big sword. <laughs> so when I heard there was a new one being filmed, I'm like, you know what, this is probably going to be good because the original shit, you can't get any worse. Oh, how wrong I was. <laughs> you really can be that bad. I'm watching it, I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? Like, he's hacking the crap out of people. There is no basis of a narrative there, it's very weak, um, bad guy who was in uh, Avatar, mm. playing a really good bad guy, really good bad guy, and that's, so he's the bad guy in this one, I'm thinking, yeah, he should be really good, nah, he wasn't very good either, the whole thing was a bit stupid, he wanted to raise his dead wife, who was an evil witch queen, sounds great, right, <laughs> nah, not great, <laughs> he's just a whole movie killing people, trying to get a mask together, he's got his crazy daughter who looks a bit like an emo Lily Allen with a load of knives on her hand which uh, you know I think that's quite crazy anyway so she's crazy she's evil she's killing people and stuff uh, what else who else is it bloke who's Hellboy he's in it is oh, yeah, uh, Ron, Ron Perlman Ron Perlman so he gets like killed to death with a load of killed molten metal that gets dropped on him that's brutal um, yeah it's all very good I mean <laughs> uh, girl who was in um Go who was in, uh, oh god, uh, oh my god, the other crap film with Channing Tatum in it as um, G.I. Joe. So she was in G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra and she was the clever bird that got herself invisible all the time and she was really clever. Sienna and Miller? No, not Sienna Miller. Now, if Sienna Miller was in this film, I wouldn't have a problem with it because anything <laughs> Sienna Miller's in, I'm happy. Because I just look at Sienna Miller and she's the perfect woman. I think we can all agree <laughs> that she is perfect. So you can look at Sienna so Miller. if in doubt, get Sienna Miller. Oh, if you're in doubt, that's it. Ah, there you go. If you're making a film, Hollywood, and you need... Hollywood will be watching. And Hollywood will serious. be watching. And you're like, oh, I need a leading lady. But I need to know, oh, she's quite pretty. I, I need a leading lady. Just just out of, just for curiosity, that was the woman who walked past, not just... The... Anyway, so... Anyway, yeah, anyway. if you need a leading lady, Sarah Miller's definitely the one to... Anyway, what are we talking about? Not a good film. What? I mean, see it. If you're bored, watch it. Because, I mean, if you're into blood gore and the girl from uh, G.I. Joe getting her knockers out, you'll love this. Any, any redeeming features, apart from the pre-mentioned pre, pre knockers? Apart from pre-mentioned knockers? No. Anything you would do differently other than put Sienna Miller in it? Uh, I'd have Sienna Miller. Well, no, no, I like the girl getting out. I like the girl who got a knocker. Yeah, we, we've got that, no, but we'll was, go around. She was good. Okay. I wasn't just talking about knockers. She was actually quite good. Right, okay. You know, I think even if she didn't get her knockers out, it, she'd still be good in it. Right. I think they were making a film and they realised, oh, this isn't very good, is it? Um, <laughs> oh, I tell you what, in the 60th scene, we'll just get it tits out. And hopefully that'll save the film. Didn't. Uh, so what I'd tell them is get a better narrative. Like, actually get a story. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that, that, yeah, get a story. That's yeah, a good start. Yeah, get a story and tell a story that we care about because I couldn't give a shit about Conan's life. He's had a hard life. whoop de doo We've all had a bit of a hard life. <laughs> I don't care. I want something to believe in. It's just like there that. There you um, go. There you go. Stirring, it's like rousing. That, uh, yeah, it's like the speech Rouse. from uh, The Huntsman, that film that we were talking about earlier. Oh, yes. Terrible speech. Didn't want to get behind her. Didn't care. Yeah. She could have died. Wouldn't have cared. She could have. The Queen could have killed her and the dwarves in a horrific manner. Wouldn't care. Wouldn't care. That's, that's what I've got to say about that. Okay, well, there we go. Thank you very much, Richard. Hollywood, listen hard. Hollywood, listen hard.